Welcome to Craft Shop. Brad here. Today I am going to be making a cross cutting and dado sled for my table saw. Nothing huge, kind of a smaller one. This is not going to be a how to video. I've never made one before, so I don't feel comfortable giving you guys any instruction on how to do it, but maybe you can get some tips off of this and kind of learn with me through this process. Let's get started and see how it turns out. All right, so I start off by using a scrap piece of plywood, a couple two by four cutoffs, and some scrap steel. The scrap steel is squared and it fits in the cross cut grooves really well on my table saw. So I don't need the full piece of plywood, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to size. All right, once I've got a good size, I go ahead and cut the two by fours to the same length. And I'm just gonna rip off the ends of the two by fours because I don't want the rounded corners. All right, and those seem to match up pretty well with the plywood. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the steel to the width of the plywood. And I'm just using a cutoff wheel on my angle grinder for this. And there's a little bit of paint on this steel that is kind of preventing it to slide smoothly through the crosscut grooves, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sand that off a little bit. And now those are moving very smoothly. All right, just searching for some hardware. I've got some bolts here I'm gonna use to attach the rails. Now I'm just drilling some holes. I'm making sure the plywood is nice and square before I start making holes. Now that it's all lined up, I'm making some marks for my holes. Don't you hate when that happens? I've got some plywood under there, don't worry, I'm not drilling into my table saw. And I'm just drilling these down a little bit with the spade bit so that my bolts sit flush. All right, now I am ready to attach the first rail. And there is probably, in fact, there has got to be a better method to do this. Um, I am just kind of shimmying this nut down through the rail until it is over the top of the bolt. And because I can't get a wrench in there, I am tightening it with needle nose pliers. I know this is very cringy, so please bear with me for this. Again, this is not a how-to. I'm just doing this for myself. But that seemed to do the trick, and the rail is on there very tight. I'm gonna go ahead and get the next rail attached. So what I'm doing here is clamping the rail in place while the sled is in place. That way I know the rails will be spaced out perfectly. And I'm just checking to make sure it slides smooth, and it does. All right, now both the rails are attached. And the sled is a perfect fit for the table saw. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the two by fours. I'm just throwing down some glue, making sure it's spread on there evenly, and I'm going to be clamping these up.
All right, so I just left that to dry overnight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the clamps off. And probably don't need this because the glue is very strong by itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some screws in there anyway. I just put about four on each side. I make sure to stay clear of the middle because that's where the blade is going to be cutting. All right, time for the maiden cut. That's what I was looking for. So now I'm going to switch to my dado blades. The blade is offset from the center of the crosscut grooves by about an inch. This means if I flip my crosscut sled around, I will be able to dedicate one side to strictly dados. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making my first dado pass. And you can see that lined up really well. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the blade and do a final pass. And that's looking very good. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do some test dados now. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a quick lap joint. I am very satisfied with this. This is gonna save me a lot of time cutting joints and I'm probably going to use this for box joints as well. And there's a couple more dado passes. I'm really excited to start using this. All right, time for a quick cross cut with the other blade. That cut through very smooth. It looks like this cross cut sled is going to be a success. And I could have easily made a wider cross cut sled, but the largest board I am generally cross cutting is probably a two by eight, maybe a two by 10, and those both fit in here perfectly. All right, just to save myself from throwing a bunch of random cuts into this and making it ugly, I'm gonna go ahead and clarify that one side is meant for dadoing. All right, there is the completed cross cutting and dado sled. It's pretty down and dirty, nothing very special about this one. There's definitely a lot more I can do to improve something like this, but I just wanted something very simple that I could whip out and cut through a couple boards, make a couple joints whenever I need to. And one of the reasons I made a thinner crosscut sled is so that I could store it in my outfeed table next to the saw. Thank you so much for watching. That was a very quick and easy build. It didn't cost me anything. I don't have a sliding compound saw or a radial arm saw, so right now when I have large boards that I need to crosscut, I always have to make a cut, flip my board, and finish the cut on the other side. So being able to utilize the crosscut sled is really going to save me a lot of time. Now if I had to build this again, there are a couple changes I would make. First one, the plywood's a lot thicker than it needs to be. I would probably just use a thinner plywood. Uh, the lower my surface is, the higher my cut's gonna be able to be. So I've kind of limited myself there a little bit. Secondly, those rails are a bit too tall. I thought having the base off of the surface of the saw would help to reduce friction and it would slide a lot easier, and it does but that also, I didn't even think about it, it limits the height of the cut I'm able to make, again, with the plywood. So dropping the sled all the way to the surface and using a thinner plywood is probably the route I'm gonna take if I end up making another one sometime. But all in all, this is a tool I'm really going to be able to utilize a lot in the future, and I'm excited to start using it. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new content. And if you have any comments for me, any tips for new methods of making crosscut sleds, or, or if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer as many as I can. Leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.